Hey, what's up boys? Back with a new video. We are going to be doing an introduction, if I could talk right, introduction on the Stroker build. Um, obviously, the car is back here in storage. Um, the motor is finally starting to take a shit. Um, it's burning oil, it's got some blow-by. It's got a little bit of uh, lifter noise or rod noise or bearings or whatever, I'm not really sure, but um, she's definitely on its way out. So I'm just gonna baby it driving it this year just so I can have enough time to fully build the motor and um, take care of it over the, the winter time and install it. But we're just uh, basically gonna go over the motor. Um, I'm gonna go down and get the block tomorrow um, and then go ahead and uh, wait a couple weeks and then pay the rest of the motor off from Bobby. This is basically just going to be a like an overview video of what the motor is and uh, the plans for the stroker build. If you guys didn't watch the vlog I did like, I don't know, fucking months ago. Um, I just kind of want to make its own separate video for like the episode or the first episode on basically what's going to be happening with the motor build and everything. So uh, yeah, so we're going to go down there tomorrow and get it and then uh, we'll get it in storage and put it over there for now. And um, then in a couple of weeks we'll go down and get the head and then we're just basically going to kind of cover everything that's going to be going on in the build and then uh, yeah. Um, then the second part of this video probably won't be done until uh, sometime in the summer uh, when I do the uh, the bottom end. So, yeah, just wanted to shoot this little intro clip. All right, guys, so we are over in storage and uh, finally got the block. It's back there. Let you see it. But uh, we're going to take it out. We have the, um, the hoist, so we're going to go ahead and find a chain in here and then Go ahead and take the block out, put it on the engine stand, which is over there, which I gotta dig out also, because this place is a freaking mess. Got E30 parts everywhere. And uh, yeah, so like I said, just gonna go ahead and grab this out real quick, and uh, then we'll kind of go over what's in it, and um, just kind of give you a rundown on it. Then in two weeks from now, we're gonna go down back to Bobby's house, and then uh, pick up the head, and then we'll uh, go over that as well. So this is just gonna be the intro episode to the Stroker build, because it's gonna be um, an ongoing project over the year. So uh, let's go ahead and get this out real quick and uh, hopefully we can get out with really no problems. Didn't have any problems getting it in because uh, the way the trunk opens on this car. So should be pretty good to go. Just gotta find me a chain and then we can go ahead and lift this out real quick. guys so I got everything set up um, I already tried to record this clip when I first got back and unloaded it but I kind of like this setup better so hopefully you can hear me with the uh, the audio because the mics about I don't know probably about two foot away from me but I just kind of want to give a rundown of what's uh, done to the block already and what has to be still done to the block uh, for this process it already has pistons in it uh, for whoever had the motor before that they were running for a short time and then they decided not to I guess um, but currently it is running a set of 14 wheel compression custom um, stock bore JE pistons. Um, so they're super high compression and they're made for E85, um, which I don't want to do that with my car personally, um, at least for this build. So we're going to go ahead and take these pistons out. I was going to go ahead and sell them, but I'm thinking more that I look at it, um, I might end up keeping them and just um, building another high compression um, motor out of the the block in the motor that's in the car currently um, when I rebuild that motor because I do want to keep the motor I don't want to just scrap it um, just for sentimental reasons and I, I just want to go ahead and keep it and uh, go ahead and rebuild that motor down the line and use these pistons in it it also has the entire bottom end done already so it has the it has 135 millimeter uh, Carrillo rods which are like north of like a thousand to like fifteen hundred dollars for the rods um, those are already installed um, it has the M50 M52 B28 crank assembly, so all the, the machine work and everything's been done to uh, make that work. So everything is pretty much done on the bottom end, um, except for 
um, taking these pistons out that are in the block right now and then going with the, the Ireland Engineering 2.9 uh, pistons, like I said. So we're gonna be down to a 10.1 compression, which is gonna be a lot better for a street car. Um, so I think I'll be a lot happier with that. Like I said, I don't wanna do E85 because I want it to be able to tune it on 93 and be able to you know get gas wherever I can instead of having to struggle with E85. And um, that's just the, the idea that we're gonna go with with this motor. So um, down the line, I'd say sometime middle of July, we're gonna go ahead and get the block, take it to CNP Machining, which is the local place that did my friend Stroker uh, M20. They're gonna take these pistons out and then install the 2.9 pistons, like I said, and then do the bore work to 85 millimeter because stock bore I think is like 84.5. And then we're just gonna go straight into the, uh, uh, the 85 millimeter bore. Um, and like I said, the reason I'm not keeping these with the stock bore, the, uh, the dude that originally bought, or built the motor um, and ported the head and everything, which you guys are going to see next when I go down to get it, um, it was ported by the guy who's built the highest uh, horsepower NA M20 that I was told. So it's uh, ported pretty much to the max, and uh, it's going to definitely give the most amount of flow um, for what we need for the, the setup that we're going for. But like I said, I just want to kind of give like a little video of a run down on the block. A um, couple of things I'm going to do after the machine work is done. Uh, I'm going to strip the block. We're just going to repaint it with some PR15 um, gloss black. And then we're going to have to start getting some of these, um, all of the accessory drive stuff, like the timing cover, because that's all going to be uh, plated and everything. That's why I'm naming the, the, the build for this, the golden standard. Uh, that's why I'm going to name this stroker, um, because there's going to be a lot of gold accents and uh, I think it's gonna really look nice in the car and everything, so um, that's basically just the idea for the name I wanna go with, just cause I think it's kind of catchy and kind of cool, so. Um, but yeah, here's the block. Uh, like I said, next week, once my buddy gets back from uh, Vintage Euro, which is like a car show or whatever, um, I'm gonna go down there and grab the head and then we'll go uh, over that. And then, like I said, there won't be pretty much any more episodes on this until we get the bottom end um, with the new pistons in. Plus when I uh, order the pistons and I get them in, I'll do like an unboxing and uh, like an overview of what the pistons look like. And then um, I'm also going to, the cylinder head needs a, a camshaft in it. So we're just gonna be getting a camshaft and that'll probably be also uh, sometime in June cause it's only like 300 bucks to get that. So just kind of wanted to give a, a rundown of the M20 block. It's definitely, uh, it's my first time doing anything like this. So I don't know everything. So basically I'm just gonna try to document everything I can and uh, the learning process um, during this process. But like I said, I don't know anything about the bottom end or machine work or anything like that, obviously. So we're just gonna get that done locally. And uh, honestly, it shouldn't be too much money. Uh, from my friend told me they only charged him like six, 600 bucks to do the machine work. Bobby's already got a block off plate for them. So basically you just bolt it to the head, I think, or the block, and then you go ahead and do the, the bore work. And uh, then they just put the motor back together with the other pistons and uh, the bottom end should be good to go, except for, you know, painting it. And, uh, and then once we get the cam, we can get everything else for the motor, put the motor together with a timing belt and everything. And then the next big cost will be um, the process of doing the ITVs. So that'll be, you know, later in the year. But I just wanted to kind of go over the block and everything that's in it. And uh, hopefully you guys like the, the little edit that I'm doing during this, because I'm trying something different. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to knock this out real quick, so. So here's the cylinder head. This is the last part of the video. Um, obviously it doesn't have uh, any rocker arms or anything um, because Bobby had to take out the cam that was in the head before that was gonna be used when the, they were gonna build the motor, but they never did. So we still do have to get a cam, but that's not gonna be until later. Um, off screen, we got the heavy duty rocker arms already uh, to go. They just gotta go back in. He just told me to install the cam first. Um, or install the cam and then uh, go ahead and put everything back together. So we got that and the retainer clips, but 
If you guys seen in the little clips, I'm not sure I'm gonna edit it. Um, like I said, the cylinder head is heavily ported. So I'll probably throw like some uh, side by side pictures of what a stock head looks like and then what this one looks like um, with the ports. Because like I said, this is uh, heavily ported. So it's not done by Beamer heads or anything like that. It's done by another person. And uh, it's basically based off the, the motor that was the highest uh, horsepower in a motor. At least that's what I think what Bobby told me. It's been a while, but um, when it comes to an M20, all the power comes from the head. So when you maximize flow in these heads, it's uh, what you need to do to make power. So that's what we're uh, going with for this build. So everything looks super clean. As you see, I'll take you off the uh, tripod. You can see how smooth the ports are and how big they are, but they're super smooth. So the work that was done on this is pretty extensive, but it's really nice work. And the machine work on this head alone was over $2,500. So as you can see, it's pretty much a brand new head, but it's had a lot of work done to it. So this um, included with the ITBs is definitely going to make a huge difference um, when it comes to making power out of this motor. So like i said we're gonna go ahead and get the cam here soon probably i don't know in like a month or a month or two and then sometime in july or august i'm planning on doing the pistons some kind of stuff just kind of came up um in life so you know how that goes so kind of might be putting stuff on a delay might not even get this motor done at all this year not really sure but just we're gonna have to see how it comes out but like i said here he took off the rockers because he said he took the cam out that was in there and then we're gonna go ahead with the uh, the Shrik 280 and 272, or 280, 284 cam um, from Ireland Engineering. And then, um, yeah, basically after the block work is done, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get all that painted up. And uh, then we can uh, throw the uh, cylinder head on because the, the new cam will be on sometime later down the line. But uh, definitely excited to get this on the car because the M20 is kind of uh, on its way out, like I said. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about getting another M20 to throw in it, but with uh, the current things that's happening in life right now, probably won't have that chance to. So uh, we're kind of just gonna not really drive the car too often this year at all because it's already starting to get pretty loud, but everything's already been done in the head. Everything is new. Like I said, the heavy duty rockers, uh, all the valve springs and all the seals and everything like that, everything is brand new. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and cover it back up. And then that's pretty much the end of this episode. I just wanted to go ahead and cover everything and uh, kind of do an introduction on what the stroker motor is gonna be. And then we're just gonna be building it, like I said, like over the next um, two years or whatever, uh, this year and then, you know, part of next year. I'm also gonna flip it over so you guys can see the bottom half, which I'll, I'll probably just throw some uh, clips in of what that looks like in the edit before this. But yeah, um, that's pretty much the end of this video. So that's it guys. Be sure to follow me on Instagram for uh, updates on the build um, whenever I get back to it. And uh, we got plenty of videos coming out after this. Like I said, we have the entire audio build and then we have new door panel build um, for new door panels that are going in the car that ties in with the audio build. But uh, I just got a bunch, a bunch of videos that are already pre-done and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and knock all those videos out when it comes to uploading them. So I'm just gonna schedule them after this video is up and then probably like do like one or two a week. Um, so we can get caught up on releasing all this content that I've already done in the winter time. So these videos are pretty much, you know, months old at this point. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Check the uh, links down below and peace.